Hello everyone, it's Ahmed Bimgash from uh, uh, al University, a student of Master of North American Study. Uh, today I have a presentation about uh, President Donald Trump, the, pres the current president of uh, the United States, uh, and I will give uh, a brief uh, uh, of his history before he uh, uh, is being uh, the president of the United States, uh, and uh, like some issues uh, while he is president, uh, and they will concentrate on his relationship with uh, Spain and with other countries. First of all, his full name is uh, Donald John Trump. Uh, he was born in uh, the 14th of uh, June in 1946. He is uh, the 45th uh, president of the United States. Uh, he was a businessman and te television personality. Uh, he received his uh, bachelor degree in economic from uh, Warren School. Uh, he took uh, charge of his family uh, real estate business uh, in 1971. Uh, Forbes uh, did. Uh, uh, like a report uh, for uh, the billionaires in the uh, United States and uh, it uh, estimate his uh, net worth for 3.1 uh, billions. Uh, uh, some uh, analysts uh, describe Trump to be a populist, uh, protectionist and nationalist. Uh, his uh, rival uh, his uh, rival candidate uh, uh, in Democratic in D uh, in Democratic Party uh, was Hillary Clinton. Uh, uh, he is the oldest U.S. president uh, uh, in the U.S. Uh, history. Uh, some describe him to be uh, racist. Uh, he always uh, use uh, this uh, uh, promotion uh, like America first. Uh, his uh, father was uh, a German immigrant. Uh, his mother was Scottish, born in uh, uh, housewife. Uh, at the age of 13, he was enrolled in New York uh, uh, Military Academy. Uh, but uh, then he didn't complete uh, uh, to serve his uh, military uh, duty uh, because uh, the medical examination uh, that he got from the hospital in 1966. Uh, his family. Uh, his father uh, started working with uh, his mother in real estate when he was 15. Uh, they established a company uh, and called that company Trump and Son, which was founded in 1923 uh, in New York. Uh, his father, whose name is Fred, and his mother, uh, whose name is Mary, uh, was, uh, like were married in 1936. Uh, Trump grew up uh, uh, with three uh, elder siblings. Uh, he uh, got married three times. The first marriage uh, was in 1977 uh, when he married uh, uh, a model. Uh, her name was Ivana, uh, and uh, they got uh, three uh, children. And then he got uh, married an uh, actress, uh, and her name was Maria, and they got, uh, they, uh, got divorced in 1999, uh, and they uh, have uh, one daughter. Uh, her name was Tiffany. In 2005, uh, Trump married Solvian uh, model, uh, which, uh, who is uh, uh, his uh, current uh, wife. Her name uh, is um, uh, Melania, uh, and uh, uh, they have one son uh, whose name is Baron. Uh, now we will talk about uh, the wealth of uh, Trump. Uh, in uh, 2019, uh, billionaires ranking that was uh, uh, that was established by Forbes. Uh, his estimated uh, net worth was 3.1 billion. Uh, so he was like uh, in number of 715 in the world and 259 uh, in the U.S. Uh, regarding to the billionaires. He is the richest uh, politician in American history uh, and he is the first billionaire American president. Uh, and the uh, New York Times uh, uh, like uh, uh, issued a report in 2018 and uh, said that uh, Trump uh, was a millionaire by age uh, of 18, uh, by age of eight. Uh, Trump uh, published uh, three or four books, but uh, his uh, uh, most famous book uh, was The Art of the Deal, uh, which, uh, which was published in 1987. Uh, and uh, in that time, it was uh, in uh, the bestseller uh, for New York Times uh, uh, 48 weeks. 
in his book he is promoting an image of himself as a successful uh, deal maker uh, and tycoon uh, also it's good to mention that trump uh, was uh, like uh, having some uh, some uh, like was acting in some movies uh, and it was not like uh, he was not like the uh, re uh, the main character of the movie but he was like uh, in the chemo uh, uh, appearances for eight uh, televisions movie uh, and series uh, and he also performed a song with the, a famous uh, american uh, singer uh, uh, and for the, his political activities up to uh, 2015, uh, first of all, Trump uh, political party affiliation changed several times. First of all, in 1987, he was registered as a Republican uh, uh, in Manhattan. Uh, then he switched uh, in uh, 1999 uh, to uh, the Reform Party. After that, he was uh, uh, changed to uh, be a Democratic uh, uh, member uh, in 2001. But in 2009, he came back to be a Republicans uh, uh, in 2009, as I mentioned, uh, in 1987, uh, Trump uh, placed a full pages uh, advertisement uh, in three major newspapers advocating peace, peace in Central America, uh, accelerated uh, nuclear uh, disarmament, talks with the Soviet uh, Union, and reduction of the federal budget uh, deficit uh, in the America ally pay. Uh, also in 1987, in the same year, uh, he ruled out uh, running uh, a local office, uh, but not for uh, the presidency. Uh, in, uh, like uh, now we will talk about the Republican uh, primaries in 2016. Uh, on uh, 16 of June uh, in 2015, Trump announced uh, his candidacy uh, for President of the United States uh, at Trump uh, Tower in Manhattan. Uh, in his speech, uh, Trump discussed illegal immigration, uh, offshoring of the American job, uh, and the U.S. national debt, and also uh, Islamic terrorism. He also announced uh, his campaign slogan, Make America Great Again. He declared that he was uh, funding uh, his own campaign. Uh, Trump's uh, campaign was initially not taken seriously by uh, many political analysts, uh, but uh, he quickly rose uh, the top uh, opinion polls. By March uh, 2016, he was poised uh, to be the Republican uh, nominee. Uh, general election campaign. Uh, Trump uh, began campaign uh, against Hillary Clinton, uh, who uh, was uh, the Democratic uh, nominee uh, in 2016. Uh, Clinton's uh, lead narrowed uh, in uh, national polling averages following the FBI's reopening its investigation into ongoing uh, email controversy. On September uh, 26, 2016, Trump and Clinton uh, faced off uh, in their first uh, presidential debate. And there was uh, three uh, presidential debates. The second one uh, was taken in Washington University uh, at uh, St. Louis uh, University in Missouri. Uh, the final one, uh, it was uh, taken in October 19 uh, at the University of Nevada in Las Vegas. Uh, election to the presidency. On November 8, 2016, Trump received uh, 306 uh, billigit electrical votes uh, versus, uh, versus 232 for Clinton. So he was uh, win by uh, like a big majority. Trump victories was considered a stunning uh, political upset by most observers, uh, as polls uh, had uh, constantly uh, showed Hillary Clinton uh, with uh, nationwide as well as favorable advantage in most of the competitive uh, state. 
ترامب وين 30 ستيت انكلودينج ميشيغان بنسيليفيا اند ويسكونسن ويتش هاد بين كونسيدرد ا بلو وول اوف ديموكراتيك سترونج هولدز سينس 1999 سو ترامب ديد جريت جوب ان هيز كامبين اند هي وين باي ذا بيج ماجوريتي اند هي ليت ذا ريبابليكان بارتيز كام باك تو ذا وايت هاوس uh like uh, when he uh, was uh, a president when he started to be a president uh, he did like uh, uh, early actions uh like uh, uh, during his first week of the office he signed six uh, executive order uh, in t- in, t- uh, in trim Uh, procedures uh, in anticipation of repealing uh, the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, which is Obamacare, uh, withdraw from uh, Trans-Pacific uh, Partnership uh, negotiation, uh, restatement of uh, the Mexico City policy, unlocking uh, the Keystone uh, and uh, Dakota Access Pipeline uh, construction uh, project, uh, reinforcing border security, and uh, begging in the planning and design process uh, to construct a wall along with the US and Mexico border, which is, which is uh, like uh, they are working in this uh, wall now. Uh, his foreign policy. Uh, Trump has been described as uh, non interventionist and uh, as American nationalist. He has repeatedly uh, said uh, in his campaign, uh, America first. Uh, he support increasing United States military defense spending, but uh, favor describing uh, United States spending on NATO and Pacific region. Uh, his foreign policy has been uh, marked by a repeated uh, price and support of the uh, uh, strong man uh, and criticism of uh, democratically led government. Uh, when we talk about the uh, Chinese and American uh, relationship during uh, uh, Trump uh, ring uh, before and during his presidency, Trump has uh, repeatedly accused China of taking unfair advantage of the US. During his uh, presidency, uh, Trump has launched a trade war against China, uh, sanctioned Huawei because uh, the alleged uh, relationship between Huawei and Iran, uh, and uh, also he increased visa restriction on the Chinese uh, nationalist student and scholars and classified China as currency uh, manipulator. Uh, in the wake of the significant uh, deterioration of the relationship, uh, many political observers uh, have warred against a new Cold War between Beijing and Washington. Uh, and uh, the big uh, part uh, that affect uh, Trump uh, during his uh, presidency uh, uh, rule uh, was uh, Russia. Uh, during his campaign uh, as a president, Trump has repeatedly asserted that uh, uh, he desire uh, to have a better relationship uh, between Russia and the United States, and he praised uh, uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin uh, as a strong man. He also said that he could help the U.S. Uh, in its fight against uh, uh, ISIS. Trump uh, crit- uh, cr- uh, criticized uh, Russia about Syria, Ukraine, and North Korea, Venezuela, uh, and uh, about poisoning uh, uh, Scribble. Uh, but he also has mixed messages uh, messages uh, for different issues. Uh, Uh, and uh, there were also rumors and uh, some evidence that there were like Russian inter- uh, interference uh, in the U.S. election. In January 2017, American intelligence agency, uh, the CIA and uh, the FBI and the NSA uh, represent, uh, repre- represented uh, the director of the national intelligence. Uh, jointly stated uh, with the high confidence uh, that the Russian government uh, interfered in 2016 presidential uh, election uh, to favor uh, the election of Trump. 
ون اوف ترامبس كامبين مانجرز باول مانفورت هاد وركد فور فروم ديسمبر 2004 تو فبراري 2010 اند هيلبد برو روسيان بوليتيشن فيكتور يوغوسلافي ويذ ذا اوكرانيان بريزيدنسي Uh, other uh, Trump Association, uh, including former National Security uh, Advisor uh, Mitchell Flynn, uh, political uh, consultant uh, Ray Gerson, uh, have uh, been connected to the Russian officials. Uh, and uh, there was uh, like uh, because of this uh, uh, rumors, we can call it rumors. There was impeachment by the House of Representatives. And uh, it was, uh, we know, like the uh, House of the Representative, it was a majority of Democrat. During uh, much of the presidency, Democrats were divided uh, on the question of impeachment. Uh, fewer than 20 representatives in the House support uh, uh, impeachment uh, by January uh, 2019, after uh, the uh, Mueller uh, report was released in April uh, and Special Counsel uh, Robert Mueller testified in July, this number grew up to uh, 140 representative in august 2019 uh, there was uh, like uh, uh, in two, uh, in august 2019 uh, trump uh, there was like uh, some report saying that trump and president uh, of ukraine uh, uh, like uh, uh, trump used kind of pressure to pressure the president uh, of ukraine uh, in order uh, to hunt uh, his uh, rival uh, of uh, democrat party and also uh, his uh, future rival joe uh, biden house speaker Na uh, nancy policy initiated a formal impeachment inquiry on september uh, 24 of 2019 on December 3rd, 2019, the House Intelligence Committee published a report. The report stated that Trump uh, withheld a military aid and uh, White House uh, inv invitation in order to influence Ukraine to announce investigation on Trump's political rivals. Uh, and in that time, uh, Trump and uh, the Republicans party uh, tried their best uh, in order uh, to defend, uh, to defend uh, their position. Uh, then uh, the impeachment uh, took place uh, in the Senate. Uh, the Senate impeachment trial began on January 16, uh, and on January 22, the Republican Senate majority rejected amendments proposed uh, by the Democratic minority to call witness uh, and uh, subpoena documents. Uh, evidence uh, collected during the House impeachment uh, proceeding will be entered in the, uh, into, into the Senate record automatically unless objected to one case by one case basis. Uh, for the three days from January 22 uh, to January 24th uh, of 2019, the impeachment uh, manager for the House presented uh, their case to the Senate. On January 31st, the Senate voted against allowing uh, subpoenas to call uh, witness of documents, uh, and the result was uh, 51 Republicans formed the majority of the vote. Thus, uh, this became the first impeachment trial in the U.S. history without witness testimony. On, fiber, uh, on uh, February uh, 5th, uh, Trump was uh, uh, acquit uh, acquitted uh, of both uh, charges uh, in vote nearly along uh, party lines with uh, one Republican uh, congressman, uh, his name was uh, uh, Matt Romney, uh, and he was supporting uh, the allegation that was initiated uh, by uh, Democrat. Uh, and this is, was the first uh, 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 senator in the U.S. history to cross party lines uh, by voting uh, to convict one uh, on uh, of his charges. So he was like uh, sitting by the side of the Democrat against uh, Republicans. Uh, now uh, uh, we will talk about uh, uh, the NATO. 
and there were there were uh, like uh, kind of problems between the Trump administration and NATO. As a candidate, Trump questioned whether uh, he, as a president, uh, would automatically extend uh, security uh, guarantees uh, to NATO members and suggested uh, that he might leave NATO unless uh, changes are made uh, to the alliance. As a president, uh, he re, uh, re uh, affirmed the U.S. commitment to NATO in March 2017. However, he has repeatedly accused fellow NATO members of paying less than their fair share of the expenses of the alliance. Uh, and uh, uh, the transatlantic relationship between, the, between Trump and also between uh, the uh, alliance, uh, alliance uh, in Europe. Uh, and especially, we will talk now uh, about uh, Spanish case. In 2018, King Felipe of Spain visited Washington to negotiate bilateral uh, trade terms. In that period, Trump's uh, relationship with the European allies was uh, not good. Uh, the domestic uh, change in Spanish uh, politics also played a role uh, in the strained uh, relationship. Uh, trade and defense are the mutual interest uh, of the two uh, of the two countries, and it's good uh, to mention that uh, uh, the main points of uh, the relationship between United States and Spain uh, were uh, trade uh, and also uh, the defense. Uh, the defense there are like two uh, American bases in the uh, in the south of Spain, uh, and uh, also uh, there were coalition uh, between United States and uh, some European countries, including Spain, uh, that invade Iraq in uh, 2003. Uh, uh, and also, the relationship between Spain and the U.S. was uh, was like strong, uh, but the issue of tariffs and barriers of European product uh, was a major concern uh, of uh, the Spanish administration. Uh, the U.S. Uh, tariffs in Spanish uh, agriculture products, uh, which is like cheese, oil, uh, and wine, uh, olive oil. To, was affecting negatively the relationship between uh, the two countries. Uh, the change in the political administration in Spain was a concern for Trump administration, but there have been a very few problems uh, since uh, Sanchez uh, took over. Uh, bilateral trade in 2018 was controversial, uh, controversial uh, because of the dispute uh, between the US and the Europe. Uh, shared values and diplomatic relationship, uh, however, were uh, good enough to stabilize uh, the relationship. Uh, Trump uh, supported Spain in, in it is Catalan issue uh, and uh, also increased trade uh, with the Spanish companies. Uh, uh, Spain's relationship uh, remains stable and mutual with the United States. Uh, the lack uh, of history towards Spain by Trump is an important factor uh, in dynamics uh, of the relationship. Uh, Trump placed uh, several tariffs uh, on steel and uh, aluminum products uh, on the European Union uh, countries. Uh, the European Union placed uh, tariffs in retaliation uh, on major agriculture imports from the United States. Uh, Trump withdrew from the Trans-Pacific Partnership and began an after negotiation. Uh, Spain uh, refrained from supporting uh, countries like Germany, uh, most critical uh, of Trump, uh, and also uh, Spain uh, wants uh, to keep uh, a good relationship with the United States. Uh, 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 f uh, there were like s uh, kind of problems uh, and uh, dispute between uh, the American uh, administration and also the Spanish uh, uh, administration uh, during the last four years. Uh, King Felipe uh, uh, 
Uh, and uh, Queen Lisa have received uh, two invitation uh, to White House uh, in a period of two years. And this is uh, a sign of uh, a good relationship between uh, the two countries uh, because it's actually vital. Uh, Trump and Milana both hold uh, the royals in high regard. Uh, the second visit was requested by Trump. Uh, cultural ties uh, also played an important uh, role like in the uh, bilateral relationship. Uh, 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 cultural ties uh, played like also bar, uh, a good part uh, when the king participated in the 300th anniversary, uh, anniversary of San Antonio and New Orleans earlier Spanish uh, colonized, which was like the, in the old history of the United States. This is a sign that Trump's administration has uh, changed its attitude towards Spain. Uh, Trump uh, thanked uh, the administration of Spain for his uh, investment uh, in buying uh, uh, some uh, military products from the United States and also for facilitating uh, uh, the procedures uh, of uh, uh, the American bases in the south of Spain, uh, which uh, uh, which has uh, uh, like strong the relationship between the two countries. Uh, and uh, now we will talk about uh, the uh, like uh, rumors that were uh, issued in uh, the Spanish uh, newspapers. Uh, and uh, they said like Trump sparked uh, uh, anger in Spain after uh, reportedly uh, snapping uh, Pedro Sanchez uh, in the prime minister, uh, the prime minister of Spain uh, in the G20 meeting. Uh, and at that time, El Pais uh, and one of uh, another famous uh, newspaper in Spain uh, uh, like start to outlaw, uh, outlets uh, criticize uh, on the Trump's move. Uh, the two leaders also had uh, a, a quart moment at NATO uh, summit uh, in Brussels. Uh, Brussels, like uh, Sanchez, in that time was uh, like wanted to greet uh, Trump, but uh, Trump kind of ignored him. So uh, uh, the two must read Spanish uh, newspaper uh, outlets uh, and criticize uh, criticize it uh, Trump's move. Trump reportedly uh, also uh, criticized Spain, uh, law militia spending in the NATO. Uh, and uh, in April 2020, like uh, in the beginning of uh, this month, uh, Trump called out Sanchez, uh, terming him uh, a bad example. Uh, because in that uh, in this time, uh, Spanish government bought six hundred forty uh, thousand uh, kits uh, for testing the coronavirus, uh, and uh, fifty eight thousand uh, of these uh, uh, kits were uh, faulty, and it was bought uh, from uh, China. Uh, this gr granted a lot of uh, mistrust between officials in the White House and uh, some officials in Spain. Uh, Sanchez uh, has not received a single invitation into the White House, while uh, the royals have received uh, two. And this is uh, like sign that there were uh, kind of dispute uh, and uh, kind of mistrust uh, that start to emerge uh, on uh, the media. Uh, Trump's relationship with royals uh, is strong, but with uh, Sanchez, it's not that good. Uh, and uh, this is uh, my presentation. Uh, thank you so much for giving attention, and I hope that you enjoyed uh, the presentation. And for any question, I'm glad uh, to uh, receive your emails, and uh, I will uh, do my best uh, to answer it. Thank you so much.